it's, I think, uh, definitely in my philosophy, maybe uh, it's too early to talk about, let's say, for step forward, for targets or whatever. But for sure, the, the FS needs, like always, traditional one, uh, uh, long, long time experience team in, in, in EuroLeague. After last season, we had like playoff team with one uh, top eight, very nice games with Real Madrid. If you need that to, to keep that experience, and honestly, I expect maybe one step forward from another side. Maybe we need step by step working. That at the moment, I think something which we need more after injury of Christian Fassi. We need a little bit more experience. Needs that, that experience needs the time, needs the games. I think we have to go step by step, game by game. But look, definitely, I think uh, very difficult to split the game now, different surface now, and uh, that we uh, uh, when I choose the the the, the, the Brian and, and Alex. But I think that both of them, they are very, very athletic guys. That is the guys who is ready, let's say, uh, to play one modern basketball at the upper court. Great runners, great rebounders. Now with, uh, at the game two on two, let's say, with Thomas, it is Ertel, it is exactly the players great for, for his creation. And, but uh, like I said, we need the time. We are just now. Uh, beginning of the seventh week, we have only six weeks where, when the team starts preseason preparation. <laughs> Perimeter game, uh, 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 we have like first, uh, like uh, Jason Grazer, I think exactly uh, the, the, the same thing like it was the last season Draper, but uh, this guy is even younger, more athletical, he needs the time. It's possible to play one modern, modern basketball. In that case, uh, I think about him, great shooter. Uh, he needs a little bit maybe more consistent in, into his game. He needs the time, he needs, uh, uh, let's say, uh, to, uh, possible to improve his game. Uh, after that, uh, about John Dibbler, he's one guy who is something, let's say, but in uh, comparison with, the, with the, the last season perimeter, let's say, uh, something between Matt Jennings and, and Stratos Perpero. He's the guy, uh, f uh, let's say, a rookie in EuroLeague, but the guy who is the great spot up shooter, good defender, and really, uh, like, like, like rookie, I expect of them now, in Euroleague one very good balanced basketball. He's a very, very coachable. Let's say he's one of one uh, from one basketball family. His brothers, his coaches, his father is coaching the Hayes High School. It is the guy who is absolutely fully educated uh, for basketball. And definitely I think the like the the, the, the player who, who is for third season in, in, in Europe after after playing for uh, Lokomotiv Kuba and Derek Brown is let's say one modern guy uh, same thing with NBA experience uh, one guy let's say all around 3-4 maybe sometimes 4-5 the guy great creator uh, good good defensive players with big experience and I think generally if we can compare the last season team and uh, well, let's say now with the, the new players at the moment, teams looks more uh, physically tough. And athleticism is more more very, very important today in modern basketball. From our first game in Limoges, we have to, to, to concentrate uh, uh, our targets in game per game. game, per game. All groups is tough. I cannot say it is elimination phase. Each game is very, very important. In that case, uh, 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 I don't, I cannot make any, any difference now. Let's say 
between the strongest team so many years, Final Four, Team Olympiacos, or I don't know, maybe, maybe let's say Sadevita or, 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 or any, any other team. Each game is very important. I expect, honestly, uh, uh, a more stronger Euroleague than it was the last season. And in that case, uh, we are working very, very hard. And my team, definitely, with so many changes, which, uh, which, is, which was not in, in my program, we need the time. Uh, in that case, we have to respect, I respect each opponent, but we are going game for game. But look like uh, Anandolo FCC is, is one traditional important team in Turkish basketball. What I said now in one in some interviews, I said hey, through this team uh, uh, passed all the best coaches in Turkey from Aydiners and after that all of them. Maybe until now, let's say, and Ataman and Sharitza for the national team. Uh, Sharitza was a player. All the best players is coming from Academy of Anadolu Efes, let's say now, uh, from uh, Hido Turkoglu and until now the last uh, Chedi Osman on the, or, uh, or, 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 or Korkmaz or, or, or Furkan or, or others. One of important parts in, in my team is the, the young players, they grow it up and uh, the, the, we start working that individual part which we need with not enough time by playing two, two games weekly by playing the whole summer our, our all young players is, is let's say is, is in, in some national team selections but i think that part how young players grow it up is let's say maybe one of very very important keys for the success